this is the LX570. We borrowed this vehicle today from our friends at Heinz Toyota in Mankato, Minnesota. Hey folks, I'm Rob. And I'm Nathan. And we are Two, Two Guys, Guys in a Ride. Ride. And today, Nathan, what are we taking a look at? Oh, today we are looking at the Lexus LX 570. That's right. And although it's a little bit of, a little chilly out here, we're still going to take a review. We could take a test drive and review. But say before you do, we do, if you'd like to keep up to date with all the new cars, trucks, and SUVs, and you want to learn how to use the infotainment systems built into these cars, plus you like cool collector car stories, take a moment to hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell notification up above so you never miss a video. That's right. So what do you say, Nate? Let's, Let's go, go for, for a ride. ride. All right, taking a drive, go for a ride in the Lexus LX570. Yeah, this is really nice. Okay, I gotta give away my bias right away. I'm a big Lexus fan and I've always, speed bump, there we go. Uh, I've always wanted one of these vehicles, but I'll try to remain partial and just talk about the, uh, the wonderful attributes of this Lexus. <laughs> That was really partial, <laughs> or impartial. Impar it was partial, yes. But uh, right away, just the uh, just the interior sound level and how quiet it is, mm -hmm. it's just absolutely amazing. Um, it's, you know, it's Lexus quiet, it's Lexus comfort. Um, just, it's really nice. Um, interior fit and finish on it, again, it's Lexus. It's beautiful, I love this open pour. Uh, real wood that's in here. I love that that it's not that high gloss shiny wood It, it, it just it, it's the new trend. It's been out for a few years, but uh, absolutely love that look versus uh, the high gloss shiny wood Acceleration we'll talk about that in a few minutes uh, safety systems, you know cross traffic. It's got radar um, Dynamic cruise, control. dynamic cruise control and it does include stopping right yep and it has uh, pre pre collision of uh, pedestrian avoidance uh, blind spot it, monitoring blind spot front and rear it's got cameras it's got hill ascent and hill descent airbags galore you name it it's just loaded with safety features and I'll list out some of those uh, on the actual review but uh, right now we just want to get out here and want to test on the acceleration here, let's see. <laughs> it, you know, you're in a big vehicle, so it seems like it's kind of lumbering, but it's actually not. You're really moving pretty quickly. Um, it's just such a large, heavy vehicle that it, you know, to me it yeah. felt like we were moving slowly, but it was definitely building up momentum as we were going. So, yeah, it's, it's quick. And we'll talk about the horsepower ratings and torque and uh, fuel mileage and all those things as we go along. So, yeah, this is this is really nice, very nice, comfortable, uh, quiet. <laughs> very uh, quiet. <laughs> Nathan, you're being unusually quiet. Now, actually, usually you're in the back seat when I'm driving, even though I got to drive first. I, I appreciate snuck you in the me. front, and you didn't even know. <laughs> so, begrudgingly. I'm going to pull over and let Nathan take it for a spin and tell you about a few things that uh, he's observed about this car and what he likes about it, and uh, we'll go from there. My turn, finally. I'm in the back seat. <laughs> Strange things happen. Rob's finally in the rear seat. Uh, in terms of the ride, this is very comfortable. Um, is like Rob had said earlier it's so quiet when you're driving it um, typically the things you would hear are like the sound of the, the, the fan running on the climate control system um, but just very comfortable easy to steer um, you know maneuvering around parking lots easy to park 
know, you've got a really nice uh, 360 uh, camera system. Um, and so parking is really easy. You have a couple different guidelines you can choose from and a couple different camera views. And um, as far as getting in and out of the car, well, you can raise or lower the whole suspension. And it really lowers, doesn't it, Rob? Yeah, it does. Um, almost looks like it's riding right on the, the, the tires. Um, but and then you have also got a running board and grab handle. So getting in and out is easy. Um, most everything you can control right from your steering wheel. Um, you do have physical controls for your climate and stuff uh, right down in this area. So easy to easy to reach. And just overall, really, really nice ride. I, I, um, hmm, I really, I'm really enjoying just the drive. I'm enjoying the ride. Yep. It's, it is just really, uh, I know, it's just pleasant to be in. Like Rob said, the surfaces are beautiful. It's very, the seats, by the way, are 14 weight power and driver and then 12 weight power and passenger. So you've got infinite adjustments uh, to make things comfortable. Um, and you do have a three person memory setting on the driver's side here to adjust seat steering wheel mirrors. So just, yeah, really comfortable to drive in. Coming up next is going to be Rob's review of the exterior. And then after that, my review of the interior. And, and then and then we'll cut a little video uh, about just the, some of the technology on this vehicle. Yep. All right. So we'll see you then. Keep watching. The LX570 was created in the 1990s as an answer to the Range Rover. It was a more luxurious version of Toyota's Land Cruiser, and it fit right in with the rugged and off-road ready SUVs of the day. You don't have to give up comfort and convenience to get the capability of a full-size SUV. With the LX570, you get a whisper quiet interior with seating up to eight and the ability to tow a trailer or tackle practically any off-road trail. This is the Lexus LX570. This vehicle is powered by a 5.7 liter double overhead cam 32 valve V8 that produces 383 horsepower, 402 foot pound of torque. It's driven by an eight speed automatic transmission with, sequ with sequential shift, four wheel drive with an electronic transfer case and a 3.307 axle ratio. Out front, we have the fully automatic aero composite LED high and low beams with daytime running lights auto high beam headlights with washer and delay off also have front fog lights the metal look grille with chrome surround body colored front bumper with chrome bumper insert and two tow hooks plus front and rear skid plates you also have laminated front windshield rain detecting intermittent wipers with heated wiper park where uh, the wipers park it's heated right there to keep the wipers from freezing to the windshield and also to clear them off as they gather snow and ice. Let's take a look around the side. Okay, uh, the suspension on this with the front and rear active uh, anti-roll bars and it does have air shock absorbers with four corner auto leveling suspension uh, with the driver able to control the height and adjust the height according to how the needs of the highway and the road and off-roading that you have are uh, accommodated. It also has uh, speed steering, speed sensitive steering, has permanent locking hubs, double wishbone front co suspension with coil springs, with a multi-link rear suspension with coil springs. Now there are four wheel anti-lock brakes and it's 13.9 inch front and 13.6 inch rear vented disc. Now the wheels are 20 inch by eight and a half split, 10 spoke aluminum alloy, two tone machine gray finished, and they're wrapped in P28550R20 all season tires. You do also have illuminated running boards, body colored power tilt down heated auto dimming side mirrors with power folding and the turn signal indicators built in. Also has perimeter approach lighting. You do have the chrome side window trim and black front windshield trim it also has the chrome door handles and it's got a touch sensor here to lock and unlock you have the deep tinted glass roof rack rails 
and it also has an express open and close sliding and tilting uh, sunroof for the front first row with sunshade. Now, some of the safety features are brake assist, electronic stability, dynamic, uh, excuse me, daytime running lights, child safety locks, traction control, blind spot monitoring, lane departure warning, <laughs> so many things on this vehicle that are built in for safety, plus many, many more. Let's take a look out back. Okay, out back you do have a body colored uh, step bumper and you have one tow hook as well. Uh, it is a fixed rear window with a fixed interval wiper and defroster. Also has a lip spoiler, has a class four towing equipment with trailer wiring harness. And this does also have a power lift gate and a rear cargo access to the rear cargo access, excuse me. It also has the LED uh, brake lights, single stainless steel exhaust, uh, where, and also has an underneath spare tire with an aluminum spare wheel. Now let's take a look inside. Cargo volume behind the first seat is uh, 83.1 cubic feet. Cargo volume behind the second row seat is 41 cubic feet. And cargo volume behind the third seat, I've got those folded, is 15.5 cubic feet. Now, one of the interesting things on this vehicle is these third row seats. They don't come completely out. What you do is you fold them down like you see here, and then they fold up against the side of the uh, back cargo area. That's one of the rubs on this older design car. Uh, so it just really depends on how much uh, storage space you need back here. Like I said, you, you get 40 some cubic feet, even with those seats still in place. And I absolutely love the split uh, cargo uh, door uh, just folds right up like this and then close it back down electronically and you've got the uh, high mount third brake light and you've got your rear view cameras and all there as well I like the chrome strip along here I like the chrome strip in the lighting and then of course the the nice Lexus badge let's take a look around the side again and talk about the dimensions Okay, this vehicle does ride on a wheelbase of 112.2 inches. Its overall length is 199.4 inches. Its maximum width is 78 inches. Its front and rear track 64.8 inches and overall height 73.4 inches with a ground clearance of 8.9 inches. Now gross vehicle weight is 7,385 pounds and its maximum trailering capacity is 7,000 pounds when properly equipped. The fuel tank is 24.6 gallons. Now, uh, approach and departure angles are dependent on the appropriate terrain suspension adjustment inside that you've made. The approach angle will range from 25 to 27 degrees, and the departure angle can range from 20 to 23 degrees. Now, the approach angle means how steep of a ramp or a log or a rock a vehicle can meet without scraping the front end. And of course, the departure angle is similar to the approach angle, except related to leaving rather than approaching an obstacle. Now, in all circumstances, the larger degree of angle is definitely better off for off-roading. Now, pros of this vehicle, top-notch interior, uh, class leading reliability score, exceptional off-road ability, smooth ride, strong brakes, seating for up to eight passengers. Cons. Uh, poor fuel economy, not that great. Uh, less cargo room than some of its rivals as well. Now on our scale of spade, uh, safety, you've got traction control, blind spot monitor, lane departure warning, and so much more. Uh, performance, zero to 60 in 7.2 seconds, quarter mile in 15.6 seconds at 89.5 miles an hour, and top speed is at 113 miles per hour. 70 to zero braking in 183 feet. Appearance. Bold lines, and I love that corporate spindle grill. Well, dependability. One word, Toyota. Uh, four year, 50,000 mile basic warranty, six year, 70,000 mile powertrain warranty. Now, economy. 18 highway, 13 city, 15 combined. As I said, that's probably one of the downsides of this vehicle, but then again, 
you're spending $100,000 on a beautiful Lexus LX570, maybe you're not too worried about fuel economy. So there you have it, folks. Beautiful LX570. That's my review of the exterior, giving you an idea of some of the specs and uh, horsepower and styling. Nathan is coming up next, I'm going to take you for a tour on the interior, and then later we're going to cut a separate video that is an infotainment how-to on how to use all the great infotainment systems and safety systems and pairing your phone and all those things that come on this vehicle and all of uh, today's complicated technology. So keep watching. And stepping onto the inside of the Lexus here, one of the nice things I like is just this this whole look on this door. You know, you've got nice uh, leather finish right here. You got the, sort of the tan here, then you got the darker leather here, and then you've got the piano black here. It just makes real for a really nice color combination and look, along with the wood trim right here. Uh, down below here, you do have storage, bottle holder, and extra storage, and then uh, of course part of your uh, Mark Levinson sound system. Okay, up here you've got all auto up and down windows, you've got your window lockout, your lock on lock buttons, your mirror selector, and your power folding mirrors, and then your auto mirrors right here. And then you have three person memory settings for the seat and steering wheel and mirrors. Over here on the seat, you've got 14 way power, which does include two lumbar adjustments. One does the front and one does the back. And on the passenger side, it is 12-way power. Okay. Coming up underneath here, you've got your uh, trunk release. You've got your gas cap release. You've got a little extra storage right here. And then right up here, you do have a button to turn off your uh, side curtain airbags. Um, which are sensitive in, in terms of uh, the, sensing the vehicle rolling over. So when you're off-roading, you want to turn those off. Here we have front auto lights button, and then we have the headlamp wash button, and we have the HUD on or off button. And then this one is uh, front airbag disengagement so that um, when you're off-roading, uh, it won't sense something falsely and then trip the airbag. Over here, you've got, of course, your dashboard lights, your odometer trip meter. You do have your tilt and telescoping wheel right here. All right, let's take a hop in. All right, so let's give it a start here, it is push start. And of course, you get uh, a, a nice LX that shows up in here, and then you get a Lexus that, uh, graphic that shows up in there. All right, so uh, on the steering wheel, Basically, you have all of your uh, media infotainment stuff over here, and then along as well as your phone, and then your voice command. Over here on the right, you have all the controls here for your driver's information center, as well as your lane keeping assist, and then your adaptive cruise control gap setting. All right, and your cruise control on or off and resume and set is all down here. You do have paddle shifters, okay? Um, over on the far left, of course, you've got your just your lights here, um, auto and parking and so forth, and then you do have fog lamps right there, okay? And then over here is your uh, windshield wipers. Moving down just a little bit below here, we've got three additional buttons. This is your, um, this turns on your pre-collision system alert, and then you can change the gap setting for that. Then you've got, you can actually turn your rear power door off so it doesn't work as a power door or on. And then this is your button from the inside to automatically raise or lower the rear door, which is, I like that. All right, then moving over here to the infotainment system, uh, it is a 12.3 inch screen. It is a Mark Levinson sound system with 19 speakers and it's just, it's just incredible. I do like, despite the fact how this is raised and kind of stuck in there, that the dash is built up and around it so it looks like it's part of the vehicle and not an add-on. It's really nice. Love that wood trim and the and the leather uh, surfaces. Um, moving on down here, you got a beautiful Lexus analog clock. You have your physical controls for your uh, media right here, as well as your CD player right here. Hazard button there. And then the rest of these are all of your uh, temperature and climate control buttons. This is a quad zone uh, temperature or climate control system. 
Moving on down here, there's another door. If we just press that and get in here, you do have a wireless phone charger, and then you have a USB and 3.5 millimeter uh, charging, or a USB charging jack and a, and a 3.5 millimeter audio input jack. Okay, if we bring this up here, we have cup holders underneath there. Over to the left, we have our electronic parking brake. Moving straight back here, you just have your gated shifter. And then we'll move back a little bit further and you have a heated steering wheel. You have ventilated, uh, three-stage ventilated and heated seats as well as an auto setting for the seats where it will sense what the outside temperature is and, and uh, adjust your seats accordingly. Now down here, these two have to do with your, mostly with your off-road system. This is a turn assist when you have crawl mode engaged. Crawl mode is engaged by pushing that button. Then you have traction control on or off. You can lock the rear differential. And then you have ECT or second gear start button right here. If you are in crawl mode, you can adjust your different types of modes using this button, depending on the surface you're driving on. This one controls your drive modes. Uh, over here, you have your four high and four low. And then you do have a button to raise or lower the suspension on the vehicle. And then you do have a, another physical button to actually turn that whole feature off. Moving over here, you have your ventilated and heated and auto settings for your passenger seat. And then over here is all the controls for your infotainment system. So this is the mouse uh, that moves around the screen. And then you've got shortcut buttons right here as well as on either side you have an enter button that you can click now let's move backwards to the center console storage where you can probably hear it but you've got a cool box down here okay and that just has a little button there you turn on or off okay and you have very deep storage very deep in the back here you it, it is recessed a little bit uh, which is interesting. Uh, it's supposed to it would give you a little bit more space for something taller, a taller bottle or something if you had a store there, but it's a very spacious area. All right. Moving on over to the glove compartment. This is lockable and there's plenty of storage in here. It does have shelves. Okay. Moving up to the top. We have uh, on our visors here, they are telescoping and they both have uh, mirrors that are backlit. Now, in addition to having a telescoping uh, visor here, you do have a secondary visor here as well. Okay, on the mirror itself, this is auto dimming. So your on off feature for auto dimming is right there. Then you have your three home link buttons. Moving up here, you have your a little area for sunglass storage. You have your reading lights and dome lights. I like how that's sort of just touch sensitive like that. It's just a really cool feature. So you don't actually have to, there's no other button to, to, to do it with. And then of course you have your uh, up or down for your uh, sunroof. And then you have the open close for it. And then just your SOS button. All right, and that is the front end. Let's go back and take a look at the second and third rows. So stepping back to the second row on the door here, again, you've got plenty of storage down here, a bottle holder, you've got three of the Mark Levinson speakers, you've got your auto up and down window here, and again, just that gorgeous color combination that I really like uh, on the doors here. You do have, on the second row, you do have window shades that pull up, and then they just clip right in there. There we go. Just a manual clip and then you bring them down in there on both sides. You do have a power forward and back on the seat. Okay, and then this is the release lever to pull the seat all the way forward. And it's also a lever to recline the seat. You do have dual seat pocket storage on both sides. And this one does come with the entertainment package. So you have dual screens, they are adjustable as far as tilting them. And then you do have a remote that works and controls both of them. Okay, down here in the center console, where you would typically expect to see climate control uh, buttons, they're not. This is just your two air vents right here. And then you have all your plugins and your volume and stuff for your headphones, HDMI plug-in here, um, another, um, it's a, uh, it would be another plug-in like from a, oh, like a PlayStation or something that could plug in right there and then go to your uh, 
screens. Okay, and this does close. Where they put the climate control is in the armrest, which I absolutely love. And I, I really like this. I like it that it just falls right to hand as you're sitting in the seat. You don't have to lean forward or anything. So uh, here's all your basic heat and ventilated controls and your temperature controls. And then, of course, you do even have an auto temperature uh, setting. And each side, it can set its own temperature, which I just think is fantastic. If you go back a little bit further here underneath, open this up. You do have a little spot for earphone storage. And then, of course, your remote control for your infotainment screens. And then um, down here as well on the floor, let's see if we can see this, you do have a 12 volt outlet right here. You do have reading lights at the top and then your, uh, your air comes from three different sources. You've got your vents in the ceiling, you've got your vents in the center console, and then you have vents underneath the seat. Okay, so to uh, to get in the third row, you just pull this lever, everything goes at one time and lifts right up. It's just one button. So in terms of headroom, I've got a lot. Now legroom, the seat is scooted forward, but it would normally be about right back here. So you're gonna have you know, <laughs> four to five inches of space. It's huge back here. It's extremely comfortable. And then I had mentioned that that same lever I used to move the seat uh, all the way forward to get into the third row is also your reclining. And look how far you could about lay it backwards and go to sleep in here. All right, let's hop in the third row and take a look at that. So in the third row, I still have about, uh, you know, about a half an inch of headroom. So I'm not touching anything, which is fantastic. Um, I do not have as much leg room in the back, this would be for a, a children or a smaller adult. Um, and you would, in, in most circumstances, you'd only have these down for short periods of time anyways. Um, the, do, there are two dual cup holders on either side. There is a little bit of storage uh, on either side as well, as well as your grab handles. And then you do have your own uh, climate vents here in the rear, as well as another light back here for reading. So it's nice to have that third row when you need it. So the first thing you want to do in the back here, you want to fold these seats is just hit the headrest. Then if I hit my right button here, I got one for the right seat and I got one for the left seat. Whoops. Like I said, you want to fold that. Okay. Then if I take and I push this button here, here we go. It'll fold it right up into the side giving you much more space back here for storage. Kind of interesting the way the seats go up instead of, you know, re re reciting in the floor, but they certainly go up, makes it really easy. Okay, then to get them back down again, you're just gonna push and hold there. So it's just kind of the reverse order of what you did to get them down. Then you just grab the handles right here and pull them back up. So easy to do. All right, so my favorite thing actually is not a technology piece in this vehicle. It's the hood lines. I absolutely love that. It, it gives you such a nice clearance in front of the, or such a nice view out the front of the vehicle. But you've got all of these little lines um, that I just absolutely love. I just think it's a great look. My favorite thing. Okay, and my favorite thing on this vehicle is the design details in the rear tail lights. You see the L for Lexus, this nice beautiful chrome piece up here. And then you have the little airfoils here to help reduce um, the noise from wind and also to make it more aerodynamic around the back. The design of those rear tail lights, that's my favorite thing. Hydraulic power assisted steer sensing, blah, 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 blah. All right, and then of course to get them back, I don't know what you do. 